You feel lost and alone, and you feel like you're wasting all of your time. The worst part is that you look at others and you just think, they've got this all figured out. They've got their together. And so the spiraling starts. You start to ask yourself, what is it that they know that I don't know? What do they have that I don't have? I must be missing something. I must not be good enough. I might as well just give up right now because they all have a special something and I am missing that special something. I don't have it. The problem isn't that you're actually lost because you're not lost. You can turn it around like this. The problem isn't that others have this all figured out because most of us don't have this all worked out. We're fighting the same questions. We have the same doubts. We all have the same struggles. And the problem isn't that you're all alone because you're not all alone. You're as alone or as connected as you choose to be. The problem is that you don't know what you want. Not really. And as long as you don't know what you want, you will always feel like something is missing. And this is where people get really defensive now. This is where people tell me, this isn't true. You know, I know what I want. I want to be happy. But happiness isn't a direction. Happiness is an outcome. Or they say, I want to do all of these big things. I have all of these big dreams and all of these big plans. I just can't do them right now. You know, because of this stupid lockdown. It's keeping me from doing what I want to do. Ah, I get it. You know, you can't do some things in person right now, but there are other things you could be doing. There's other ways you could be spending your time, your focus, your energy. There's other things you could do. Or the thing that I get, which drives me crazy, is the whole like, it's easier for you. I'm not like you. I just can't blah, blah, blah. I can't do that. They're all excuses. It's all things we tell ourselves, stuff that I tell myself even. The problem again is that you don't actually know what you want. Not really. You have a feeling. You have a yearning, a desire to do more. You want to do something bigger. You want to do something more challenging, something more exciting than what you're doing right now. You feel stuck in the same old, same old. You feel like you're not growing. You feel like you're not taking the steps towards something. You're, you feel like it's just the same days. It's the same seasons. It's the same years. Life is on repeat again and again and again. But here's the thing. You don't actually know what you want because you've never stopped and taken the time to figure out what you actually want. Maybe you don't know how. Maybe you, you don't know where to start or you're worried that you're gonna do it and then you're gonna feel boxed in and you're gonna feel trapped. Or maybe you're afraid to make it real. Because if you make it real, then, then it's this tangible thing that you have to go after and you might not feel like you're good enough. You don't wanna try, you don't wanna fail. You don't wanna be the person who tried to do something, who had a dream and then couldn't make it happen. The reason you haven't made this clear isn't even important. I wouldn't spend any time or any energy even focused on that, it doesn't matter. The real question right now is whether things are hard enough, painful enough, whether you've hit the point where you're not gonna live in this limbo, this sad state any longer. Have you hit the end of your rope? Are you tired enough of the same old, same old where you're finally going to do something about it? For your sake, for your happiness, I'm hoping the answer is yes. And if you've been a part of our little community for a while now, you know that I'm all about thinking big and being bold and saying yes. And so I'm hoping right now that you are gonna sign up for that last one, that you are going to say yes to figuring this out, to owning it and to being proud of what you want. Because really, don't you wanna wake up knowing that there's something that you're working towards? Don't you want to feel like your time and your work and your efforts all mean something? Don't you wanna stop feeling like this branch that's just out there in the cold, bending whichever way the wind blows without any real purpose, without any real direction. Okay, so forget goal setting. Forget smart goals. Forget 10-year plans. Just answer this question. Answer this question for me, please. What do you want? Now, making a clear vision can be, feel challenging or scary or overwhelming for people. And a lot of people feel like they're making these like life 
setting decisions, these huge directional things. And if they pick something and then they pick the wrong thing, that there's no going back or there's no changing direction or anything like that. And others, people more like me, we struggle to explicitly tell people, this is what I want because it makes us feel selfish uh, or, or bossy. It, it makes us feel self-centered. And we don't want to be any of those things. We don't want people to look at us as being selfish or bossy or self-centered. Or so we never really come out and just tell people what we want. We don't even admit it to ourselves. But here's what really trips us up. If we can't even admit to ourselves what we want, if you can't admit to yourself what you want, how will you ever make it clear to anyone else? How will you ever know if you're moving in the right direction? How will you ever know if you're spending your time and your focus and your energy and your heart and your love and your passion? How do you know that you're pouring your soul into the right things? I've wasted years by not being clear on this, by kind of thinking that a general direction was enough, by not being clear enough so that way I could hold myself accountable or not being able to measure anything because I was working in kind of generalities by not really risking anything and even risking to myself or to others and saying it out loud because people might judge me for the things that I want, for the, for the things that I think that I'm good enough. Who are you to be able to think you can have that, that kind of stuff? I wasted years on this. And I know that I wasted all of this time because I was afraid. I was scared that I would put it into writing, I would share it with others, and then I would be made a liar out of. I would make myself a liar. That eventually I would change directions or that I would set some kind of like really crazy ambitious goal and I would say it out loud and I would tell people and then I wouldn't be able to make it happen. And that I'd have this list of things that I wanted to do, that I wanted to achieve, and, and I wouldn't be able to get any of them or do any of them. And that I'd be all talk, I'd be a fraud, I'd be a liar, a dreamer who never really is able to amount to any of his goals. That fear has held me back for years and it's kept me from doing this. What's keeping you from doing this? Ask yourself, who do you wanna be? What do you want? Why do you want it? For you to be happy, to feel like you're growing, these questions, they need answers. So let's get tactical. Let's make this tactical. It's one thing to talk, but I wanna share with you how I've worked through this. I don't care if it's a pen and paper, if it's a transcription act, or it's a fresh new document, whatever works for you, I want you to follow this really simple process. And so this is simple, this is easy. This is something that anyone can do. What you're gonna do is you're gonna ask yourself a simple question, and then you are gonna write anything that pops into your head. You're not gonna judge your answers. You're not gonna try and edit, or for the perfectionist like me, you know, you're not gonna try and fix the formatting as you write out everything that pops into your head. You're gonna ask the question, and then you're gonna spend 10 or 20 minutes answering it, maybe even an hour, maybe even more. You're gonna keep doing this until you feel like you have literally nothing left to say on the subject, but you don't wanna rush it. Okay, here's how it goes. I ask myself this question, Mark, what do you want? And then I write. I write how I wanna feel, uh, what I wanna know, what I wanna believe, what I wanna have, either skills or even material things, uh, the type of vacations that I wanna have, uh, the kinds of relationships that I wanna have, the lack of fear or worries that I wanna be able to live with. I write and I write and I write. Sometimes I'll go for a walk or a run with my transcription app, which is called Otter, and it just I just talk and it just kind of writes everything down. And I just keep asking myself this question. And once I feel like I have nothing left to say on it or nothing left to write on it, I stop and I look at my list of everything that I've said or written and, and I just review everything. And I look for the things that jump out at me off the page because they excite me or the things that jump out off the page at me because they make me scared. They make me feel nervous. I'm ashamed to admit them. And if I don't have anything on the page that, that makes me really excited because I know it's true, or I don't have anything on the page that I'm ashamed to admit, to 
put into writing to see those cold, hard truths. If I don't have those two things, then I do the exercise again and again and again till I get to those things that excite me and the things that I'm ashamed of. And ultimately, when, when it's clear to me that these are the things that are holding me back, then I ask myself the next question, why do I want this? I don't judge myself. I just very quickly ask myself, why do I want this? Is it for me? Is it for someone else or for loved ones? Is it out of a sense of duty? Is it a place of, of pride or ego? Will it help me become the type of person that I believe that I want to be? Will it help me grow? Will it help me serve others? So later, when you run into a challenge, you can always go back and you can look at this and go, ah, right, that's why I'm doing that. This is why it's important. That's why I've put in all this time and energy and I need to keep going. And then the last step is this. I ask myself, what's the simplest, easiest first step that I can do right now that will help me start working towards what I want. Maybe it's sending an email or calling someone up and telling them about what you want. Maybe it's building out a list or a schedule or booking a meeting or recording a video or writing. Maybe it's signing up for a new course or trying out a new piece of software or ordering new tiles for my bathroom that I'm renovating. Whatever it is, whatever it is, what's the simplest, easiest thing you can do right now that will help put you on the path to getting what you want. And then, no secret here, you do it. There are a ton more questions you could be asking yourself. One I love is who do I want to be? Um, who do I look up to? What do they do? What's their mindset? Uh, how do they think? You know, you can ask yourself about your values. What are your true values? How do your values serve you? How do your values hold you back? There are a ton of questions you could be asking yourself as you work towards becoming the person that you want to be and that you're meant to be. But the place to start, the place to start is with what do you want? And then, of course, why do you want it? What can you do today to start? Do this. Actually, do this. And you won't feel so directionless. You won't feel so alone and you won't waste another day feeling lost. So there you have it. Until next time, remember, you have to think big, you've got to be bold, and you must say yes. If you want to know how to get unstuck and start anything with confidence, check out this video right here. I think you'd like it a lot, and I will see you there.